In this week's edition of Ray of Hope, wards at the Sunbeam Home for Boys in Bushy Parks and Catherine recently got a well-needed gift. Here's TVJ's Kayan Morgan. Every year, many children are placed in state care. And as the number of wards continue to climb, the resources needed to ensure a proper upbringing are sometimes scarce. Some of these essentials can be a simple internet connection or the materials needed to do schoolwork. To help address this problem, the International Game Technology, IGT, partnered with the Sunbeam Home for Boys in Bushy Park, St. Catherine, to hand over an aftercare advantage center. Many of them have never sat before a computer before. Many of them have never been on the internet. They hear about it, but they've ne just never had access to it. So the ability for us to help children imagine and expand their horizons as to what the future could, could hold is, is phenomenal. The donation includes six desktops, a printer and chairs. The home's chairman, Rani Finikin, says each year up to 100 boys are helped, adding that the donation will boost their efforts. It can be used not just with empowering our boys, but also helping our staff to stay ahead in, in understanding um, how to engage youth. There is an audiovisual part of this pro project where the boys can speak to the computers and the computers can respond to them. I mean, for any child that is going to be super exciting. So that I think is a great, um, it's a great part of it. For the boys. They're in a new world. They, they are excited about this. As the door is open, it's a grand rush. During last school year, I had many assignments to do and because of the lack of computers, I couldn't get to do any of them and I was back I was behind in school so I think this will help me improve. It is very difficult for us to um, be finding money to go out and print our projects, SBAs and other school-based assignments so I say a breath of relief. They all agree that community development is important. They're imploring others to come on board to give the less fortunate a ray of hope. Let's do it now when the children are young, when they are adaptable when they can be influenced. This is how we are approaching it and this is the best formula, I think. They start in a particular situation of somewhat um, maybe negative circumstances, but in terms of future thinking, the, it's unimaginable where they can take it. With a ray of hope, I'm Ken Morgan.